Well, it really is a city that loves its football. I'm talking, of course, about Manchester, and it's a real pleasure to be here tonight at Old Trafford. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Manchester United up against West Ham United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, it might well be a game to savour. Manchester United kick off. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea stands between the posts. Rafael Varane plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. Fred starts alongside Scott McTominay in midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Given away by Manchester United. Jared Bowen. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Lanzini. A well, potential danger. But just like that, possession changes hands. Given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Well, Derek, we know he's a good all-round finisher, but I think his greatest attribute is his heading ability. He seems to hang in the air, he's got great technique when the ball comes onto his head, and he usually hits the target. That's his greatest skill. Jared Bowen, encouraging move from West Ham. Vladimir Kuval. Space and time for the cross. Well, they couldn't keep it. A reminder this stadium is a no Tackling and winning the ball to boot. In any part of the stadium, thank you. Read it well. Well read to put an end to that attack. Ronaldo. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Going short. Alex Teres. Bruno Fernandes has it. Ronaldo. Not high quality defending. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Just can't get it past the wall. Now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Can he make it 1-0? Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target.
Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. So back underway in this game, Manchester United with the advantage. Scott McTominay. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Declan Rice. Vlasic. Rice with it. And Vlasic. No-nonsense clearance. Well, as you can see, United just haven't been able to dictate the pace of the game. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes. It's with McTominay. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. For Niles. Possession one. And they need to get tighter. Tremendous block. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Cristiano Ronaldo moving the ball effectively looking for the right moment McTominay oh he's really opened them up here and a goal there he is at the double they just can't subdue him Well, here's the goal again, and you have to say the patience of the passing is outstanding. They're just waiting for the right time to penetrate, and then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So, 2-0 now. Not the pass he had in mind. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Aaron Cresswell. Could cross it in here. Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. Well, there's a reason why we're highlighting Cristiano Ronaldo. He's been very creative out there, Stuart. Well, he's looked unstoppable today. Quick, clever, skillful, and he's taken his goals really well. He's been wonderful to watch. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, a more than satisfactory performance from Ronaldo in the first half, Stuart. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now. So back underway here, and West Ham left with a real mountain to climb in the second half. Can they respond? Cristiano Ronaldo. Alex Tellez has it. Well, he successfully got past him. 
And the cross smuggled away. So a throw in here. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Possession seeded by United. Issa Diop. Moving it forward. Can he get one back? Oh, no, is the answer. It was a guilt-edged opportunity. He couldn't avail himself of it. You have to say that's a big chance missed. He had to score there. That makes it difficult now. Substitution for West and the substitution United. will occur now. Number 20, Jared Bowen. To be replaced by number 7, Andrei Yarmolenko. Lindelof, Bruno Fernandes. Cristiano Ronaldo. Fred. Alex Tellez has it. Antonio. It's a weighted pass. And possession given away. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Here's a change for Manchester United. <laughs> Rafael Varane. It's with McTominay. Ronaldo wasteful in possession, not really like him. What can the Hammers do from this position? And the cross goes in, but goalkeeper's ball, disappointingly for them. Cristiano Ronaldo. Scott McTominay. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. For Niles. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Oh, he's blocked it! Declan Rice. Well read to ease the pressure. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Ronaldo. Scott McTominay. Given away by Manchester United. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Aaron Cresswell. Vlasic. And that is going to be a free kick. Now to the front post, just over the crossbar. Well, that 
piece of play very easy on the eye Rice Antonio body on the line player in the way again and no nonsense defensive clearance you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it booking to come you would think well the referee not messing about he's cautioned him well it had to be a yellow card and he knew it was coming Here's a change for Manchester United. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Counter-attacking, very much an option. We've entered the final five minutes. Vlasic. Well, they know they need to stop him. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Well, he's walking a fine line. No caution, though. Well, the referee's made it quite clear, hasn't he? Next foul, and he will get a booking. Diogo Dallo. Here's Ronaldo. Diogo Dallo on the ball. The electronic board has been held in the air, and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Kral. Kufal on the ball. Antonio, this looks threatening, a oh, tremendous block. And there it is, the final whistle, it's a Manchester United victory. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end, fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today.